We kind of we like it, but can you change the colors a little bit? I mean, we still want the same feel, but change colors. So we we're like, no problem. Hit Command C, like draw a box around it. Command C, Command V, place it below it. Go to Object, sorry, Edit, Edit Colors. And first of all, we want to put Convert to CMYK. Why do we want to do that? Because this is a poster, and when we print posters, they're printed at CMYK for four colors, not three. Three is more for web use. And then we go to Edit, Edit Colors again, and we're going to choose Recolor the Artwork. Now, notice in recoloring the artwork, we still have our logo colors selected. We're going to go ahead and click on edit right here. Now, what does this remind you of? Cooler. Yes, Adobe Cooler. Remember how we learned Adobe Cooler and how to make uh, good color schemes? Now, if you drag this around, you can choose your own colors. Um, but I'm going to keep it at that yellow. You can even add additional lines if we have three but in this case we don't have three so I'm gonna subtract that now remember the company said hey we, we really like that logo but we want a different feel to it so what should we do uh, so what we're gonna do is basically um, let me check we're gonna change the colors so we're gonna go to object sorry edit edit colors recolor artwork and then under edit we're gonna click on this link symbol see the link symbol click on link harmonious colors that way when we move the circle around it moves the colors with it too so if we want more of a green notice that the aqua is changing with it so whatever was yellow is now green. Whatever was blue is now purple. And it's keeping that same uh, coordinating colors together. Go ahead and click on the black in the middle. It's kind of too much of a black. We're gonna go to the K and bring down the K so it's a little bit more grayish. And you see this little sun icon? This is to show the saturation and hue. We're going to bring that up a little bit so it's a little bit brighter. And now we got our new logo. So we're going to hit OK. And we're done with it. So we can go ahead and delete our old one. The company says, hey, we like this. You get a raise. When <laughs> but then they're like, hey, this Aqualife banner at the bottom of our poster, can you change that too? And we're like, yeah, no problem. So you go to you highlight all of it, go to edit, and click on same thing, edit colors, recolor artwork. Now, in, how many colors do we have right now in that banner? Three. Yeah, three. But they just want it to be more simple. They just choose one main color with different shades of that color. So go ahead and choose one. Okay. And now we can decide how we want to do it. So you can choose blue. Um, you can go in and change it to like more purplish. You, you guys can decide. You're the designer. Whatever looks good. But notice it's always keeping uh, like the same gradient, the same variations of one main color. OK? So I'm going to choose that one, hit OK, and we're good with that. Um, Okay, now we can unhide the background. And what we're gonna do is select the box. See there's an outwards like rectangle around our document. And notice that it's a little off the page. Why is it a little off the page? Because when you print, you want it to like bleed off the page, so when they cut it, you know, it, it cuts okay. You don't want to like have it close because if it prints a little bit off, you'll have that extra space. So it's good to always bleed off the page. So what we're going to do is use a gradient fill. Um, do you guys remember gradient in Photoshop? We're going to double click the gradient tool on the left side over here. And now we have 
then you're going to go to Window and choose Gradient. And you'll see a Gradient tab over here. You can click on the triple arrows and hit Show Options. And then under Type, you're going to choose Linear. Okay, Linear is like going from one direction to the other, from like one side to the other side. But we don't want Linear, we want Radial. We want it going starting on the inside, going out. Now obviously we don't want white and black, right? So remember our Blamo, what colors did we use? Orange. Yellow to orange, so let's do that. Double click on the white and click on orange, okay, that we used, the dark orange, and drag it into that color. Okay, watch. Click the swatch, drag it into that white swatch on the gradient, and now it's orange. But we don't want it orange, we want it yellow. We said yellow to orange. So yellow, and then click and drag it into the orange. And we want, this is supposed to be yellow. All right, so notice the gradient, yellow to orange. So again, Click on Gradient on the left side here, or G. Go Window, Gradient, and you have this Gradient tab open. Choose Radial. And then click on the yellow and drag it into the left side. And click the orange and drag it into the right side. And we got our Gradient. Good job, Kanye. If you don't got it, no problem. We'll do it later at the end. But click on the stars, okay? Same thing. So if you missed the boat, it's okay. Catch up on this part. With the stars selected, click on Gradient. And if you don't have all of these uh, toolbar or tool tabs on the side, go to Window, Workspace, and Panel. That's very important. Window, Workspace, Panel. And you'll get all these windows or tabs. So for these stars, we're going to choose a gradient, but so click on gradient. But instead of yellow to orange, we're going to go the opposite opposite way. We're going to go orange to yellow. So just go ahead and reverse those two. And we're going to choose a stroke of zero. And then notice that it looks pretty cool. Now the next part is notice this huge star we have on the middle of our document. We're going to take that huge star and uh, place a pattern over it. So uh, what you're going to do is go to your Appearance tab on the right. If you don't have it, go to Window, Appearance. We're going to click on this, the triple line arrow, and hit Add New Fill. And we're going to do it one more time, Add New Fill. And we're going to choose one fill and put it on top. And then a stroke and then a fill. Now, with the fill, the top fill one, you're going to choose the triple arrow. Sorry, you're going to, under your swatches, okay? So everyone should go to their swatches. Go to your triple arrow, triple line arrow. Then go to Open Swatch Library. Okay. And then we're going to go to Patterns. And then we're going to go to Basic uh, Graphics. And then we're going to go to Basic Graphic Dots. And then you'll have this open. And we're going to choose 10 DPI 60%. It's like one in the middle. And we're going to click on that. Now when you click on that, it's going to appear, but it's still black. Why is it black? Because notice our other, other one is black too. So we're going to change that black one to orange. So go ahead and click on the orange and drag it into that second fill. Or cl click on that fill and click orange. Now you'll notice that it's black dots and orange background. Okay.